you guys ready? Okay, sweet. Are you good, Val? All right. We'll start with our welcome song, okay? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. What do you guys want to do next? Um, meow. Meow? Okay, let's meow. That's a good one. If you're ready for a story, meow like a cat. Meow. If you're ready for a story, meow like a cat. Meow. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, meow like a cat. Meow. I usually do growls at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. What would you like to do? Shout hooray. Okay. If you're ready for a story, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're ready for a story, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, shout hooray. Hooray. Should we do one more? Yeah. What should we do? Clap. We did clap. Anyone else got anything they want to do? Um, spin around. Should we spin? You guys want to spin? Okay. We've got to get up for that one. All right. If you're ready for a story, spin around. If you're ready for a story, spin around. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, spin around. Good job. Well, what do you think we're going to read books about today? Fall. Yeah, fall. fall. Do you guys like fall? Yeah. Do you like fall? I like, I like Christmas. Christmas? <laughs> That'll be here soon. <laughs> hmm? Yes. How do you guys know that it's fall? What are some things that tell us it's fall? I started preschool and my teacher told me. Oh, that's a good one. You started preschool and your teacher told you. What are some things you, you see different about fall, like outside? Oh. Like if you look outside, what do you notice? The, the leaves change colors on the trees. Yeah. And what else do the leaves do? They fall they, off the trees. They fall off the trees. Yeah. Do any of you like to make big leaf piles? Yeah. And jump in them? Yeah. Uh, I, I, like, I like to play in my yard. Yes. Mommy and Julia will Yeah. and Greta will have lots of leaves so they can make a ginormous pile. A ginormous pile? So we can all <laughs> Yeah, there's lots, there's lots of fun things to do in the fall, right? Yeah. Okay, so our first book is about a girl named Bella, and it's called Bella's Fall Coat. Because usually it gets kind of chilly in fall, um, and you have to bundle up a little more than in summer, right? Bella was little, but not as little as she used to be. Grams, tsk, tsk, you're going to burst your buttons, girl. It's time for a new coat. Bella shook her head. No, Grams, this coat is my favorite. You made it for me, and I want to wear it forever. Bella Marie, nothing lasts forever. Winter will be here soon. Do you guys ever outgrow your clothes? Like they don't fit you anymore because you're growing, and you have to get something new? Bella twirled and whirled. She crinkled and crackled. She dove down deep and pop popped back up. She's in the leaves, isn't she? She likes that too. When Grams jangled the lunch bell, Bella burst into the kitchen. Eek! Graham screamed, a leaf monster. Bella giggled, it's just me, Grams. Fall leaves are my favorite. Let's keep them forever. Well, I know a way we can keep them for a little while, said Grams. Have any of you ever done that where you save the leaves? No. Yeah. <laughs> After lunch, Grams said, now, Bella, about that coat. But whiz, Bella was already outside. She picked and plucked. Ooh, what is she eating there? Apples. Apples. She stretched and reached. She crunkled and munched, or crunched and munched, actually. Grams, my coat has pockets big enough for a whole tree of apples, said Bella. Can we make an apple pie? My favorite. 
Hmm, said Grams. I'm sure we can make something with these. After supper, with warm apple tarts for dessert, Grams tried once more. Your coat, Bella. It, but zoom, Bella was already outside. She sneaked and snooped. She honked and whistled. What are you guys, what are these kind of birds? Ducks. Ducks? Geese, yep. What do you notice about geese this time of year? Do you ever see them up in the sky in big, big uh, angles where they're flying south? Because they fly south for the winter, don't they? She flapped and flew. Oh dear, said Grams. I'm afraid these wings have flapped their last flapped. I was flying away with the geese. I wish they could stay forever, said Billa. Can you fix my coat? Look at her coat is starting to fall apart. Let's see what I can do, said Graham. But now it's time for you to get ready for bed. Graham's tucked Bella in tight. The little girl who wasn't quite so little fell asleep and dreamed of her favorites. Bright orange leaves, crisp juicy apples, and soft white feathers. Meanwhile, Graham snipped and clipped. She pushed and pulled. She whirred and snored. The next morning, Bella awoke. Her eyes were filled with white flakes. The first snow, said Bella. Can I go out and play in it? Not in your old coat, you can't. You couldn't fix it, Bella said, her eyes filling with tears. No, kitten, I'm afraid you're going to have to wear this one instead. Bella slipped it on. She twirled and whirled. She stretched and flapped. She even found surprises in the deep, deep pockets. Grams, this is my new favorite coat. Thank you, I will wear it forever. Bella saw her old coat drooping on a chair, sad and lonely. She picked it up. Grams asked, where are you going with? But swoosh, Bella was already outside. The coat fits her perfectly, said Grams. Look at, she gave her old coat to a snowman. Of, yeah, of course, said Bella. It's her favorite. The end. All right, you guys want to sing a couple fall songs? Yeah. Okay. So the first one is called Leaves Are Falling, okay? So leaves are falling. We're going to do this, okay? Leaves are falling, leaves are falling to the ground, to the ground. All the leaves are falling, all the leaves are falling. Crunch, 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 crunch. Should we do it now one more time? Let's hear those crunches at the end, okay? Leaves are falling, leaves are falling to the ground, to the ground. All the leaves are falling, all the leaves are falling. Crunch, 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 crunch. Do you guys hear the crunches when you walk in the leaves? Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> okay, we have another one too. Um, how about we stand up for this one? Okay, kind of same thing. It's called autumn leaves. So we're gonna do falling down again. And then the wind's gonna blow them around and around like this. And then they're gonna drift slowly. And then we're gonna get out our rake and rake, okay? All right, here we go. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down all around the town. The wind will blow them round and round, round and round. Round and round the wind will blow them round and round all around the town. They gently drift to the ground, to the ground, to the ground. They gently drift to the ground all around the town. Let's take our rake and rake them up, rake them up, rake them up. Take your leaf and rake them up all around the town. Good job, you guys. Are you guys going to help rake this fall? Do you help rake? Yes. Good. Okay, our next story 
is about a squirrel. What do you guys see squirrels gather? What's kind of one of their favorite foods to find? Uh, what? Acorns. Acorns, right? And what do they do with them? They eat them, but they also hide them for winter. So this time of year, they like to get them and hide them so in the winter they can have extra food, like they store it up. And this book is called, Have You Seen My Acorn? Let's see. Squirrel dug and dug, but he couldn't find it. Look at all those holes he made looking for his acorn. Which could only mean one thing. Someone took his acorn. Did you take my acorn? I buried it right here. Oh no, I would never. Are you sure though it hasn't sprouted into... Sorry dear, no time to talk. I must find my acorn. Squirrel scurried off until he smelled something sour. Oh, what did he, who's that? Skunk. Skunk. <laughs> did you take my acorn? I buried it right by your den. Me? Never. I may stink, but my morals don't. You do know acorns can grow into, no time for chit chat, skunk. I'm right in the middle of my search. Squirrel scampered along until he came to raccoon's hideout. Did you take my acorn? I know you like to steal food. Listen kid, I can rummage through trash cans in the city for five star meals. Why would I want to steal a lousy acorn? You sure you haven't seen anything growing where you buried your... I really must skedaddle raccoon. I'm sure you understand. He's just in a hurry. Just then, Squirrel heard a rat-tat-tat up in the tree. <gasps> what kind of bird is this? Do you know? Woodpecker. Woodpecker. Yes. Did you take my acorn? I know you like nuts. Not me. I mostly stay in this oak tree. T -t -t -tree. If you buried it, may have t -t turned into... Apologies, Woodpecker. I really must get a move on. Before Woodpecker could respond, Squirrel found himself face to face with a fox. A fox. <clears throat> Sorry to bother you, Fox. Have you happened to see my acorn? No. Let's see. Well, it definitely did not grow into a tree. Actually, it probably rolled right into this log. How about you step inside to look? Do you think he should step inside the log? Probably not. <laughs> oh no, I really must be going. Th thank you though. Squirrel backed away from Fox very slowly. That's when he heard, whoo, whoo. I have seen the acorn you seek, Squirrel, but it is no longer an acorn. In fact, it has grown into something small and fragile. But one day will be mighty and strong, something that will provide shelter and food for creatures big and small. Do any of you think you can solve that riddle? Well, it's kind of a hard one, isn't it? Are you sure we're talking about the same acorn? Quite sure. In fact, your acorn is right in front of you. Yes, right there. You see your acorn has sprouted into a... Do you guys see his acorn? I heard someone say it. <gasps> Wait, no, no, too far. Look right behind you. Oh dear, don't look at deer. Goodness gracious, it is literally right next to you. Do you guys see it yet? Where is it? Right there? Look, it hit him in the head, and now it's falling down. Did he find it? Oh, here it is. Thanks, Owl.
Squirrel was so happy to be reunited with his acorn, he promised to always keep it safe. So he buried it. What happened to that one? It, it turned into a tree. That's what happened, a little, a little, little tiny tree. That's why he couldn't find it the first time. <laughs> okay, you guys, do you see the tree over here? Yeah, we're gonna do a little game over here. Um, so sometimes there's little critters that like to hide in the leaves. In this pile, there's a mouse. We're gonna see if we can find it. What color leaves should we look under first? The green. Green? Oh, no mouse. Which one next? Brown? Orange? No? Yellow? The white one. <laughs> Should we count the leaves? Should we count? Let's see. Let's count how many yellow leaves there are, okay? How many yellow ones are there? One, two, three. How about the green? The red, one. red ones? Okay, we'll do red. There's like two shades of red, kind of this color and this one. We'll do both. We'll count them all as red. Okay, ready? One. What other one should we count? Orange? Let's do orange. Okay, ready? Three orange leaves. Brown ones? Okay. One, two, three, four. Did we do all of them? Yeah, did we do, did we do green? No, I don't think we did. Okay, let's do the green ones. Ready? One, Two, three, four. Good job, you guys. Okay, next up I have some play scarves and we're gonna listen to a song. So you guys wanna get up? We're gonna move a little bit. Okay. You want a purple one? Yeah, I'll take some around. <laughs> Let's see, what color would you like? Purple? Absolutely. Okay. Do you need another one? Yeah. Okay, this song is called Jiggle Your Scarf. Can you jiggle your scarf? Okay, let's put some music on. Oops, that was not right. Well, we can do this one too. No. Can you make a circle? Jiggle your toes.
one more? Yeah! I'll get to the song I was supposed to play. Okay, Jiggle, you're here. One more, can you toss it in the air and catch it? Can you do that? Let's see everyone toss theirs in the air. Ready? Go. That's kind of fun to do, isn't it? <laughs> it's falling like the fall leaves, right? Okay, you guys, we have one more story. So if you want to bring your scarf up, we'll put those away and we'll finish our story time. Thank you. Yeah, look at you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, ready to put them away? Thank you. One more. This is called Autumn in the Forest. I felt something fall. Thank you. <laughs> Fix that quick. Do any of you go on like hikes in the in the forest? Yeah. What? Do you? What kinds of things do you see? What do you see? <laughs> what? Yeah. What else? Birdies. Yes. Birds. What? Squirrels. Do you have? Yeah. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Have any of you gotten pumpkins yet this year? I do. You do? I do. Yeah. Do you guys like? Car do you carve pumpkins? That's. A, do you like to I carve do. them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do. You don't. That's okay. All right. So let's see what's in this forest. Okay. Something magical is happening in the forest today. A golden oak leaf falls gently to the forest floor. A woolly bear caterpillar inches its way across the moss and grasses and falling acorn surprises. What do you think we're going to see? <gasps> what is that? This is actually a chipmunk. You guys ever see chipmunks? Yeah? How do you know it's a chipmunk? Because it has the stripes, right? A little chipmunk. Let's see what other surprises we can find in the forest. The trees are dropping their walnuts, acorns, and buckeyes. Squirrels and other animals gather the nuts for winter food. The chipmunk can carry lots of nuts and big pouches in his cheeks. Let's see what's in the tree. Let's see, what do we have? We have red squirrels put their nuts in the tree, and the gray squirrel is burying his nuts in the ground. All right. The trees are full of apples and pears ready for gathering. 
The little chipmunk sees an apple that looks delicious. Uh-oh, another chipmunk sees it too. Oh, the apple was too big for a little chipmunk. Time to, time to look for a smaller one. Fell in the, in the ponds. Oh look, someone has carved a happy pumpkin. It is just right for a curious little chipmunk who's looking for yummy seeds. But there are no seeds inside. Maybe there are seeds in the garden. Should we see what's in the garden? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I, what do you see in the garden? Pumpkins. Pumpkins? Pumpkins. And, uh, and a yeah. fox? And flowers. Yeah. And how, what's this? Scarecrow. A scarecrow. Yeah. All right. What a wonderful day to be a chipmunk in the forest. Frost has kissed the pumpkins, apples, and pears. Nuts of all kinds have covered the forest floor, and one little chipmunk is snug in its burrow. Look at all the food it's stored. Keep it nice and full all winter. There's an apple core there. Yeah. There he is in his little, in his little home. There's an apple core. There's an apple core, yeah. That will give him some food for the winter. Right. Yeah, it is. Okay, do you guys want to sing our, our Tickle the Clouds song? Do you remember that one? Okay, let's stand up for that one. So we're going to tickle the clouds. Tickle the clouds. Tickle your toes. Turn around. And tickle your nose. Reach down low. Now reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. That's it, you guys, for stories, but we have activities, right? A squirrel. You think he's looking for acorns?